Hey, what's up everyone? Grimsy Finds here, back with another collection video. I wanted to post this one um, because I did forget some <laughs> some games for the Wii U um, that I will show you in the beginning, um, but this will mainly cover my Nintendo Switch collection. I do apologize for throwing the Wii U uh, games I forgot, but um, I'm, there are some collector's um, boxes that I forgot to include, so my bad, but um, I do want to show... Um, those first and then I'll go through my Nintendo Switch collection, which I would like to mention is really really a good system uh, I think Nintendo did a really good job uh, releasing the Nintendo Switch um, Really, it's like their best systems in a while. Um, I do love the GameCube uh, But as far as sales go the switch is so far <laughs> The best they have ever, they've done in a long time. So really really happy with it um, I don't have a very big switch collection, but I do have a modest size one um, I hopefully will find more in garage sales and maybe um, I'll get some on Black Friday or something but um I do have a modest size collection, but it's a pretty good size, a pretty good decent collection. But without further ado, I'm gonna start with the Nintendo Wii U games, and uh, then we'll go on to the Nintendo Switch. All right, so the one one of the games I forgot to show you is a really rare and expensive game for the Nintendo Wii U. Um, it's uh, Devil's Third. So this game right here um, is a pretty expensive game. I think it was running a hundred to two hundred. This is factory sealed still. So I was on the hunt for it when um, they released. Oh, and they said I noticed that they were reprinting them. So I went to Toys R Us um, and was able to get this um, Devil's Third copy. Um, they're really hard to find. So um, really happy I have this in my collection. I don't foresee myself opening it, but um, if I ever find one in a garage sale, I'll give it a go. Next up for the Wii U is uh, Mario Party 10. It's the collector's box with the little Mario Amiibo figure. So this is another one that I forgot to show you guys, my bad. The problem is I have... Um, my room is uh, organized, but it's unorganized at the same time, so I have stuff everywhere. So that's why I forgot these, because these are in the another side of the room. Uh, next game is uh, Yoshi's Woolly World with the Yarn Yoshi. So that's cool. I remember hunting for the Mega Yarn Yoshis, and man, I couldn't find those for a minute, but I managed to have some get one for my collection, so I'm pretty happy about that, but Yoshi's Woolly World. Captain Toad. Uh, this is also with the Amiibo. Pretty cool. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD with the Amiibo. Finally, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U collector's box. So again, I apologize for not showing you these in the last uh, video for Wii U. Um, again, I forgot my bad, but now you know. <laughs> that pretty much concludes my uh, Wii U collection. Um, now onto the Switch, like I promised. Uh, let's go over the games first, and then I'll go over through the collector's boxes. Um, so first of all, I think I showed you in, in a pickups video. Uh, Crayola Scoot. Uh, the Incredibles. Dragon's Dawn of the Next, the New Rider, sorry. Um, so those were uh, pickups from a yard sale uh, last year, I believe. Um, next is one of my favorite games, and the reason I bought the Switch is uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. I love Luigi's Mansion. Super Halloween themed, <laughs> especially right now in October. So super, super happy to finally get this. I did not beat it. I'm about halfway through. I got stuck. I need to actually put this back in and play it. But yeah, Luigi's Mansion 3. Beautiful game here. Um, uh, it's just amazing. Uh, if you haven't played it, definitely try it out. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, Marvel Super Heroes 2. I think that was a garage sale pickup. I don't remember buying that at uh, GameStop. Uh, Pokemon Pokken Tournament uh, DX. Uh, this game is still factory sealed. I haven't played it yet. Uh, Fire Emblem Warriors, but as of habit, I've learned that I always pick up Fire Emblem games. From uh, from the GameCube forward, uh, Fire Emblem games end up being expensive, so I ended up picking that up. Uh, Tohu Kabuto Burst Battle. So this is, looks like a J-pop game. <laughs> Another copy of Fire Emblem Warriors, sorry. I guess I have two of those. <laughs> um... This is also factory sealed, but the seal's kind of broken, so I might open it up and play it. Uh, Disgaea 5 Complete. Uh, Knights of Azure 2. This looks really, really cool title. 
I was about to think it was Atlas, but it's not. And then last game, uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So those are all my uh, loose games. Uh, if you, if I point the camera up over here, you can see my Nintendo Switch box. Uh, the Super Mario Odyssey one. Um, I did play the game. It's super fun. I love it. I came with it downloaded. So um, super, super fun. Uh, definitely recommend playing Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, you get to control different things. I'm sure you know already. It's just kind of old now. But um, anyways, on to the collector's editions. I want to start with Octopath Traveler Wayfarer's Edition. So this is a collector's box. It came in this plastic container. So this is not something I bought. It's, it came in with this container. Uh, so like I had it for the <laughs> Wii U, now I have it for the Switch. And it is a very recurring game and they recently announced Sora for it. Uh, Super Smash Bros Ultimate. So uh, super excited uh, to actually play with Sora. I actually voted for Sora also back in the day when they had the poll for who ca what character should be added. So I did vote for Sora and I'm glad that he's finally in the game. Uh, another game, <laughs> this is actually the third copy of this game, but this is the collector's special edition, uh, Fire Emblem Warriors. Um, there's a little nick there and a little nick there, but super happy with it. Uh, this is the lim the special edition, limited run, so that's why I have it. Super excited to, ha to have that. Last two collector's edition uh, boxes is uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. So I do play Pokemon Go. I do have a channel for Pokemon Go on YouTube. I will link it in the description uh, of the video. So uh, if you want it, if you play it, you want, want to check it out. Uh, link it is in the description but um yeah super super excited to when this first came out because you could get melton so as of then though i got to fushia city and stopped playing it and i never played it again so um but definitely happy to have these in my collection super super awesome also before i forget i'm sure you noticed this uh that's the legend of zelda breath of the wild collector's box or limited edition so there's two of them there's a bigger box one and then there's this one the, the collector i think this comes with a statue i'm not 100 percent sure but uh super limited i was super glad i was able to get that um super super expensive now i'm positive so um super happy to have that but anyways guys that's all i have for you guys today uh i know this was a quick short video sorry to again for the wii u footage in the beginning but uh wanted to show you all that um, anyways, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Grimsy Finds, signing out.